Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for zodiac sign Leo for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. My dear friends, you can see already five tarot cards waiting in front of my camera and I will talk about tarot a little bit later. So what you can expect what type of energies, people, events, news or information, I will discuss about it a little bit later. But first I want to give you as many as possible insights when it comes to transition of planets above our heads on sky. Okay, so March 5th until March 18th, 2018, in front of us. And I do recommend to you, go and watch bi-weekly reading for your moon sign and especially for your rising sign. Okay guys, let's get started. So as I promised, I will start with astrology. So my dear Leos, you already know that your ruler is the sun. So sun is still in your eighth house in a sign of Pisces and there is a lot of thing going on but inside of you. Maybe not that much things are going on with other people. This is all about memories. This is all about depth. So do you already know that uh, you own somebody something? Maybe an apology, maybe money, maybe some um, clarification. So there is most likely somebody in your life who deserve, uh, you know, to hear something from you. But also maybe this is Mm, the vice versa. Maybe somebody and most likely somebody think very deeply about you and this person wants to see you at least for a brief uh, short moment because this is somebody who wants to clear out something with you. Uh, you know, story always goes vice versa. Guys, you know what I saw first in your chart? This Jupiter now being in retrograded motion from March 8th and he will stay there for a couple of months, you know. So Jupiter in a fourth house in a sign of Scorpio is saying, go back. Go back to your wife. Go back to your husband. Simply go back. Jupiter in a fourth house. This is your fourth house you need to deal with. So this is your partner. This is your mother or father. This is your roots. This is your family, this is your house and you are very proud of uh, your house, you are very proud of your family. So Jupiter will give you another opportunity and not only one but a couple of them uh, to clear if there is something that you still need to clear with your current uh, partner. So if you are a woman, go back to your husband and if you are a man, go back to your wife. But for so many of you, and especially, of course, for those of you who are single, then this go back, it means go back to your past. There is unfinished story with somebody. Could be. This person easily could be Scorpio. This person easily could be um, Cancer. Easily could be Pisces. Could be Leo. Could be Libra. And could be Virgo, maybe Capricorn, and especially Aries. So, you know, a couple of zodiac signs that basically I can see in your chart. So, whatever it is, whoever this person is, go back and listen. Go back and work it out. Or go back and try once again. I mean, what can I say, you know? North Node of the Moon, of course, is still in the first house. So this North Node of the Moon is asking you, do you know, do you, what, do you know what you want? Do you even know what kind of partner you want to be connected with? I mean on a long run, I'm not saying for flirt or anything like that. I mean for the rest of your life, do you know? Because South Node of the Moon is in your 7th house, so you know, you need to examine or to experiment, or to see, or to hear something with somebody from your past. Until you do that, you ain't gonna find peace inside of you. But okay, 
enough already with you know past but i mean what can i say there are a bunch of asteroids uh, passing through little by little slowly through your air house so this is like your personal private hell that you really need to go through so you need to perch and before you find your peace you need to make a room for future and you need to become very stable man or woman before you can do that if you know that you own somebody anything at all could be even not only money or or or, 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 or closure or, or explanation or saying a sorry could be item like uh, like uh, I, I don't know something you know anything so you know think a little bit you know is it maybe there is you know something that you still owe to do uh, or, 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 or or basically to 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 get back to get back to give back anything anything at all okay mercury and venus they will enter uh, uh, an aries which is basically a nine house uh, march 6th which is good because mercury is communication and you know mercury in the sign of pisces he was completely silent so most likely uh through the month of february you were so silent like uh like you were not silent in a quite a long time you know and people most likely say that to you you know what is going on with you you know you are so silent you know you do not want to talk with me you do not want to look at me you never call me you know always i need to call you blah 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 you know so now with this mercury you will be so much more talkative and which is good you know which is very very good venus in a sign of aries well this is not the very best place for venus to be in a sign of aries because venus in a sign of aries is the sign of her fall so somebody will fall on you <laughs> no doubt about that especially libra gemini aquarius uh, taurus uh, and maybe virgo but listen to me don't play with emotions of other people do not do that because you will have opportunity uh, to meet somebody especially on some business meeting uh, if you do travel a lot you will meet you know somebody you can meet somebody on a dating whatever site you know but please don't play with people because i can see clearly this man or woman depends of course on your gender will fall on you like in a two seconds two seconds please don't forget that limelight is on you not not in your first house so you need to be truthful Leo. you need to be at your best remember you are king of the jungle you are not uh, i don't know any kind of other you know animal you do belong to royalty so please act like one okay okay yes you know i've been a little bit you know harsh to you so i mean what can i say my job is not to lie to you my job is simply to to be a messenger to to give you a message which i am able to see so okay you know what is next aha uh -huh, jupiter in the retrograde motion so this is very good basically for your house if you want to clear your house you know do that you know get rid of uh you know garbage you know it doesn't have to be garbage you know sorry to use this type of word but basically you know this could be a cloth this could be you know some something even precious item but not longer which serves you so you know give it to somebody because jupiter is a doer give it somebody you know and don't look back you know when it when it comes to this um this type of things don't don't look back so basically this is charity so many of you my dear leos you will say okay you know i have enough i will give you know something away or i will give some away amount of money furniture clothes food but for some of you this also could be teaching somebody something and for free you know so if you are already on a, uh, on, on the internet um, giving some lectures or anything like that this is good if you want to start a private business you know do that inside of your house if you want to become a yoga teacher or anything which is connected with spirituality well you know this is quite very good time for that uh, mars will enter in the sign of capricorn uh, march 17th which is your sixth house and there is already pluto 
uh, asteroid it Lilith waiting and Saturn. So Mars in a sign of Capricorn are extremely powerful. You will be extremely powerful, wealthy when it comes to your business, job and work. Uh huh. So, you know, Mars is planet of action and what you are ready and willing to fight for. So, you know, this is very easy for me to predict. You are ready and willing to fight for your job, for your entrepreneur, whatever. Uh, and even for your colleagues, you will fight for your colleagues because you are very, very righteous in a very righteous um, um, attitude. Uh, okay, there is a better English word, but I can't recall this very second. Uh, almost you will start a movement, you know, this is righteous and this is not righteous, you know. So, okay, uh, one thing more, if you are already coupled, try not to take it, to take or to bring any kind of anxiety and problem from your office to your home because you know this is exhausting so uh, when it comes to love relationship uh, I already mentioned a couple of things that that you really need to be nice to this Libra Taurus Gemini Virgo maybe even Cancer or Scorpio but there is somebody who is chasing you but most likely you don't like this person could be Capricorn um, could be could be any other astrological sign, even could be, you know, an Aries, somebody that you basically don't like and you simply do not know how to get rid of this person. But this person will chase you again, again, and again, and again, and again, until you find strength or time or energy or whatever to simply say to this person, you know what, ain't gonna work, you know, sorry, because you know exactly what and who you want. But most likely this person still is out of your range. Don't you worry about that, you know, because there is a full moon uh, on the 1st March. I already talked in previous uh, bi-weekly reading uh, in your second house. So you'll be very powerful with your money and try not to spend too much. And second full moon, but I will talk about that in next bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading. 31st of March in the third house. You thought that you are very, you know, hot, 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 and there is, you know, like your friend, or you will meet, you know, somebody, but you will see down the road that basically this person is not the best one yet for you. But you, 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 you are going to think that this person is basically the best for you. Could be Libra, you know, could be Libra. Um, so, okay, I mean, for any kind of you know, further, you know, details, I really need to see your chart. Because uh, when it comes to astrology, uh, those planets, you know, passing through uh, every and single house of yours, they need to touch, you know, uh, they need to touch and on the same degree, your planet, which basically you have in, in your chart. So this is like, you know, this is, this is general. Oh my God, I'm talking already 13 minutes. Okay, enough with astrology. Let's, let's get back to tarot. So, Major Arcana, the Hero Fund, Major Arcana, the Sun. Three of Wands, Ace of Cups, and Justice or Adjustment. This is you, honey. Three of Wands. Three messages that I can see. Three phone calls. Uh, three attempt to do something. But if you're afraid, nothing will happen. This is also your window. And this is you passing through this window or doors. Or looking through this window. So I can see so many people are coming in your backyard. In your front yard, meaning you know, being very interested into you, and both in a private life, both in your in your business, in your work, uh, everyday life, you know. But you are so exhausted. Do you know um, what basically you want to do? You want to escape. You you think nothing this very minute. You simply want to escape. You want to be um, on a Bahamas. You want to travel to I don't know Thailand. You want to see the world. And this is you trying to pick vibes, you know, who can travel with you, you know. So maybe there is, you know, somebody, could be current partner, could be future, but for so many of you, this is your ex. You simply want to travel, you want to see the world, and you want above all to enjoy. But this person is out of your range, whatever this might mean for you. This person may be your ex. This is, you know, somebody with whom you are not at very good terms, at least not now. 
and you are still hoping, you know, maybe this person will come back. Who knows? Maybe will, because there is Ace of Cups and Karma Tarot card. So what is meant to be, it, it is meant to be. This person will come effortlessly in your life once again. Or you will allow yourself to contact this person once again. No matter, you can be man or woman, but karma is the key. I mean, karmic event and, 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 and this uh, connection between you and that person. So, Major Arcana, the Hero of Ant, and by the way, Major Arcana, the Sun, obviously the very best tarot card you can get, you know. So, this is connection. But first, you need to connect yourself with you. Honey, if you want to know my opinion, you need to find you. You. This is why you have North Node of the Moon in your sign, in your first house. In your first house. Honey, try to find who are you without doing that without examining your personality and to the core you ain't gonna be able to reach whatever you want to reach so find out put the whale from yourself you know this is like you are uh, looking your reflection in the mirror and you still do not see are you good are you not good enough are you beautiful or not are you interested into this or into that? What you want to do with whom you want to spend your life with? You are still, um, you are still waiting, you are still seeking, you are still searching, and you are still waiting. But for what? You need to find you. And obviously, we all can find ourselves so much easier by uh, talking, traveling, loving somebody else. So this is exactly what it is. Don't try your luck with five uh, people. You need to find only one, only one person in your life. So destiny will help you a little bit with that. But then you really need to be like a Leo. You know, I explained that to you already. Act like royalty. So somebody is coming in your life you know and you want best of the best because little by little you will discover the key and the key is you know somehow uh, placed in a north node in a sign of leo key is already inside of you but you still don't see maybe you don't see your value so maybe you are looking uh, too much and too long to be valued you know from other people honey stop doing that in those five tarot cards i can see first of all libra mm -hmm. cancer pisces mm -hmm. Sag, especially eris taurus capricorn and virgo but what and who is the one and only person this is your final decision honey nobody can decide instead of you so if you are brave enough if you are Strength, strengthful enough to make your decision this very second, uh, you will, uh, you will attract uh, by synchronicity, by your own power, this person, and you can meet this person on street. You know, people say, and then by coincidence, I simply run over him, you know, or over her, or you know, whatever. Coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> honey <laughs> please you know don't there is no such a thing like coincidence there is no such a thing okay you don't believe me you will until you reach the end of March so honey basically by the end of this reading what you can expect well in one word unexpectable mm -hmm. okay this is all there is for two weeks in front of you. If you want to book a private reading with me, okay, do not hesitate, I'm waiting. You will get astrology reading and tarot reading for the price of one. Until then, make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Bye!